Okay, so this is a review on Wiley's album, The Godfather 3, or 3, should I say. And uh, yeah, so basically the artwork is very simple, very basic. Well, in fact, it's not even basic really when you look at, when you really look at it. It's just images of Wiley, um, like different images. If I was to count them all, there's probably, let me check. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, about 15 artworks of Wiley. Probably a bit more. And, um, yeah, there's, um, one particular artwork which is interesting is him collecting, I believe it's his MBE. Or, or is it MBE or OBE? I can't remember which one it is. As much as I know about the MBE and stuff like that being in relation to the um, to the uh, British Empire, um, yeah, for me, I don't want to go too too deep into it. But all I know is, if we're talking about black people that have turned down the MBE, like Benjamin Zephaniah, because I remember in school, well, when I was in secondary school, we were on a school trip, and um, I can't remember where, where it was, but Benjamin Zephaniah was there and then he, he was talking about how he turned on um, an MBE and stuff like that. And that that really, really made me think. It's, it's When I look back, I think you're right. How did I, These situations are mad, you know? When I think of not mad in that sense, but like seeing Bez, Benjamin Zephaniah talking about turning down an MBE, but then. Later on, when he goes on to the Big Nasty Show, he explains why again, he turned it down. Um, and then also, ah, uh, yeah, he was turned down MB, turned down MB. Um, Skepta as well, like he mentioned it in one song. Um, I think it was in Hypocrisy. Um, but with Wiley, as much as I don't really like this MBE thing, like, he does deserve that level of recognition and there is a recognition thing whether you like to admit it or not is because the guy has done so much for the scene like so much for music itself right and so that's like so much for the scene he deserves to be recognized he deserves to be applauded he deserves to be celebrated you get it like um whether you think that like, whatever you may think of him yeah or whether how you perceive him to come across, the guy is a fucking genius. You gotta respect that. But um, but yeah, even with the, the artwork, there's Roman Road thing, and they've got they've got the um, I forgot what you call it. But yeah, that's interesting there, because if you know about Roman Road, you know about Roman Road, with the whole um situation. But anyway, I think there's like thirteen, like I said, there's between thirteen to fifteen artwork of Wiley on his artwork or pictures of him which is interesting because this is his 13th studio album right and basically let's get into the track list so there is 22 tracks and they are the intro then you got Come On Fiction, Play Vision and Reels then you got The Game then you got The Vibes Is Back then you got Protect The Empire featuring Jams and K9. Then you got Eskimo Dance featuring Big Swings, Breeze, Capoli, Delusion, Is, Flowdan, Jammer, Jams, K9, Tempity, and Ten Dixon. What the fuck happened to Is? Where where is he? Does anyone know? I want to hear some new music from Is. But anyway, then there's all of them. Um, then there's Bars featuring D Double E. Then there's Family featuring Flirter D and Footy and uh, Goldie One. Then we pick up Flirter D and all that. Um, then there's This Is It. Then there's Bruce Wayne. Then there's Double Dragon by, uh, featuring J2K. And then there's um, I knew it. So because in the when in title when I watch listen to it and stuff like that, the the the, the the featured names are not there, but I know certain artists from their tone and all stuff there. And the fact that J2K rarely drops something, I know it's like I, I know 
his not his flow, but it's like I know when he the way he how do I put it? You know when you hear from an artist, right? Especially when it's an MC. Every MC technically they're all different, but some can sound the same. But with J2K, you don't even have to hear him for for like four or five years. He drops something or drops a feature with someone, and you know it's like you don't even have to see the name. You just know it's him. You know it's him. Um, but anyway, back to the track listing. Then there's star, um, starring, featuring Ghostly. You know what? I don't understand uh, Roman numerals, but it's double X V double I I. Do a double I, whatever. Now Jamal, it's featuring um, Jamal and also K9. Then there's Amsterdam featuring Breeze, Mango Sun, and the Year. Then also Scratchy. And there's Balance featuring Alsa. Then there's Free Spirit, Lightwork, Rinch, Image Ting. Then there's West London featuring Big Zoo, Diamond, Ghostly, Double X, V, Double I. And then there's K featuring K9 as well. Excuse me. And then there's South London featuring Blessed UK. Then there's Crafty, 893. Then there's Faults. Then there's John E. Clayface. Then there's Ten Dixon. Right, Ten Dixon from South London. I didn't realise. Anyway, there's near here or there right now. And then there's the last record is Press Record. Alright, so I don't have a particular favourite on the album. But one thing I'm going to say to you on this is, at the end of the day, Wiley did his thing. Like, like he, he really brought the vibes back. He really, really brought the vibes back with this album. Um, I genuinely believe the smartest thing he's always done is bring, like, bring people through. Like, again, you see when he did, he brought through Chip and Ice Kid, like, who would have thought that would be one of the best freestyles? It may not... It's, it's, see, you see with Chipmunk, yeah? Like, it's kind of techy, in it? Because I don't want to say that's his best ever freestyle. But, if someone was to say, oh, if I'm gonna put if, if I'm gonna put someone onto to Chipmunk, right? I said listen to Chipmunk. I'll be like, right, cool. Listen to that freestyle. That's the that's what I'm gonna say to listen to first. Listen to that freestyle. Same thing with Ice Kid. Listen to that freestyle. Even though he did his thing in um what's that tune with um Style OG? Um Mayu. You see what I mean? So it's 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 very interesting um how he brings people through like even with the uh, South London and West London it featured artists for so West London artists Graham MCs from West London the South London Graham MC from South London so that's a big look right there um but yeah the other features give me like a respect thing as well especially with K9 and Jams but um I don't know if I have a particular in fact you know what you know, Maybe I do have a particular particular flavor. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't have a particular flavor, really, but I do one hundred percent like the Eskimo dance, mainly because you do hear certain other old school rhythms, old school grand rhythms, should I say, and they're spitting over that. Do you see what I mean? And it's like it just brings that vibe, and for me, it's sort of a nostalgia feel when I hear that. Um, as much as I like to hear new grand tracks as well, that's, for me, it just takes me back to a certain place and memories and stuff like that. Even though, um, for the, like, uh, Kapo Lee is dead on that track, it's, um, yeah. But yeah, the, the song I'm going to talk about always, you know how I normally take songs in context or out of context? It is what it is. I just do what I've got to do. And it's Protect the Empire. In fact, there was one song. Oh, what song was it? Was it Family or was it Protect the Empire? I can't remember what song it was. But, you know what? Let me see if it is this then. Because he talks about, you know, with his son taking over or something like that. And um oh, I can't even remember. Mm. 
Nah. Yeah, it's not that song. It's not that song. But what's interesting it is one song it is in a little, I can't speak. In the song, this is in um, Trojan of Fair Nice. Um, what do you call it? He mentions about an empire. Can't deny the. the um, what was the bar? Fuck! He mentioned something about empire, but it's interesting how now, you know, talking about protecting his empire and stuff like that. Oh, uh, where is this song I was thinking of though? I think it was, oh fuck, I can't even remember this. You know what, it, it, it don't fucking matter at this fucking point, you know? It don't fucking matter. It don't matter. It's been long enough, than it, than, long enough as it is, and... When it comes to uploading this thing, it's gonna take hours. It's gonna take hours. Um, but yeah, so basically, as far as as um, yeah, I'm gonna talk. I meant to take one song out of context, innit? The song I was gonna do was "Protect the Empire," featuring Jams and K9. But obviously, because look, at the end of the day, when it comes to I don't know, let's just say dating and relationships, right? What happens is if you are a man, right? And you're building your empire and a woman comes along yeah sometimes what happens is you can take your eye off the empire and you can fuck up your empire so you have to get to the point where when a woman comes along she's she added value to you and your empire do you get it and even if you're a woman and you're more or less in your empire it's about having getting that man to help you improve and you know, improve the empire you're you're creating, and he takes over because the man takes the lead. As much as the thing is, your like your empire is your pride to become one and all that. So, yeah, that's that's just that's just that. Um, but one thing I do want to rec uh, recommend is if you click the link in the description box below, you will get access to online courses such as roles and relationships. In that course, right there, you will learn how to develop yourself as a father alpha male. If you're a man watching this, so you learn your role as a man and all stuff there. And if you're a woman watching this, you learn to develop yourself as a pure feminine woman and understand how you are how you are supposed to be as a woman like naturally, that like these traits are naturally within you. Now, I say all of that to say this because even in that course to do with roles and relationships, you will learn how relationships actually work. So you'll be able to do what's necessary to be able to protect your empire and make it grow yeah and be sustainable that's the most important thing because you want that generation wealth on generational wealth anyway i've been going on for too 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 long i'm going to give this album a 10 out of 10 i listen why are they just not starting to make good music like it's just it just is what it is like his flows his delivery his cadences like Wiley just knows how to make good music. Even if it's not grime, he makes good music. Like, you can't deny it. Like, you just, like, you can't deny it. But, as far as grime is concerned, he is grime. And this is that 10 out of 10. So, go stream that. Link is in the description box below. Go stream that, stream that, stream that. Um, yeah. So, like I said, it's 10 out of 10. Um, it's a good album. In fact, it's a great album. It's going on my playlist, especially my uh, workout playlist as well, because the grind will like to work up with listen to grind. But anyway, if you've got any questions, any topics you'd like for us to discuss in the videos, leave that in the comment section below. And remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.